So before we move on to optical activity, we'll just do a quick note on something called relative configuration. Remember that absolute configuration is all about priority and it is either R or S. Relative configuration is something slightly different. What happens is if you change one substituent, but the other three remain in the same configuration as before, then that means that these two things are in the same relative configuration, meaning that the three remaining substituents are all in the same positions. So here we have a chlorine there, we have a hydrogen facing away from you, and we have an OH hydroxyl group there. And the only difference is here we have the methyl group, and here we have a fluorine atom. And so relative configuration is when you change one substituent, but everything else remains in the same spatial configuration relative to that central carbon and to each other. Something else to be aware of is that things can have the same relative configuration, but because of the priority and numbering rules, can actually have a different absolute configuration. And so here, the chlorine is number one, the hydroxyl group is two, and the methyl group here is priority three. And remember that because the hydrogen is facing away from us, we can just say that if this moves in a clockwise direction from one to two to three, that this is clockwise and therefore it is R configuration. R and clockwise are the same when the hydrogen or the lowest substituent is facing away from you into the page. Now here, this still has the same relative configuration. We have chlorine, we have the hydroxyl group and the hydrogen with the one different substituent being in the same position. However, because the fluorine coming in is higher than oxygen in terms of its atomic mass and its atomic number, it ends up that this is now substituent number two. So we go from one to two to three by going in a counterclockwise direction. And that makes this an S compound when we're looking at the absolute configuration. So just realize that relative configuration is saying, other than the one substituent that has switched places, is everything else oriented in the same way? And here it is, chlorine at the top, hydroxyl group over here, and the hydrogen facing away from us. However, sometimes things can have the same relative configuration, but that can result in a change in the absolute configuration. And so don't get tripped up when questions come up about the different configurations. Absolute is R or S, and it's based on the clockwise or counterclockwise orientation of high priority substituents when you are facing the lowest priority atom away from you. Relative configuration is a comparison between two slightly different molecules where one substituent has changed, but everything else remains in the same position relative to each other.